um, popped into my mind was, okay, you've launched a new SaaS advertising platform for your for podcasters, um, which is called Wildcast. Can you tell us about that and how that inspiration started? Absolutely. And the Wildcast beta is going to start in probably about six weeks from now. We're sitting in pretty much mid-August. If you go to Wildcast now, it's basically a guest matching platform. But we're transitioning and transforming the the platform into a podcast advertising platform. Um, Because of the work that we've done with the agency and really figured out that relevancy is key. We think we're in a unique place to create the world's best podcast advertising platform. And that's largely because podcast advertising now is done from a CPM model, which means that people or advertisers will pay podcast hosts per 1,000 downloads. So if you had a $10 CPM for every 1,000 people that download your show, they'll pay you 10 bucks. Okay. And what you and I know (laughs) is that audience size can vary dramatically from show to show from month to month. Mm -hmm. Um, And also the the quality of attention in podcasting is worth paying attention to. It's worth paying attention to paying attention. Is that what I just said? That'll do. (laughs) That it's not going to work in transcription, but somehow in podcasting, it works. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Which is to say, if you've got Rogan on, let's say, and he's got a guest that you're not really interested in, you're probably paying attention with about 50% of your attention. You're just kind of like, it's kind of rolling in the back and he's going to talk for three hours. And it's like, you're hanging out with an old buddy. Um, whereas if you're looking in, in uh, listening to a podcast, that's solving problems that you're having right now, you're going to give higher quality attention to that show. Now, what we found is that podcasts that solve problems, maybe like this podcast where you're speaking and giving very helpful um, tasks, uh, tips, uh, encouragement to entrepreneurs, people that are working on side hustles, things like that, that people are listening to, to get something out of this show. Mm -hmm. So the quality of their attention is more, is uh, more valuable. Now, the difference is, is Rogan show biggest show in the world. It has millions and millions, millions of monthly downloads. It's an entertainment show. Yeah. You know, I don't know what ads are on his show because I just skip them every single time. I do the same (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Whereas with a, a podcast that's um, no disrespect, Jeff, but I, you're smaller than Joe Rogan. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> that 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 um, even though it's a smaller in number size, the quality of the audience is better. So we're creating a platform that can capitalize on the audiences that that aren't necessarily an entertainment based podcast, rather it's business tech, B2B SaaS type podcasts where they can really capitalize on the quality of attention that they're getting um, from their audience. Yeah. So that's coming in beta in about six weeks. Um, we're really excited to you know, be working with the podcast community, which has been so good to us, of course, but also like bringing in brands and agencies of people that understand podcast is ubiquitous enough that like, we need to get our message out there. And not only do we want to get our message out there, but we need to corner our entire category, uh, which is something you can do by targeting B2B and tech podcasts. Yeah.